What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well. Look who's here. You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. Of course. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? Did you not do anything to help him? Mrs. Sanders, I understand your grief, and I extend my deepest condolences to you. But I had nothing to do with the death of your husband. I've just arrived on Darkwater. I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. The death of the Hawkins family? You mean it was not an accident? Oh, this accursed island knows only tragedy after tragedy. You too would be advised to flee it like the plague. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it, I would urge you to make the most of your visit. Because I count on ridding myself of that thing as soon as I can. Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Did she really care for him, after all? The 
The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? A house of artists. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler, finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? She first refused to sell the painting. How did that make her feel? Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids each time I shut my eyes. I can't take any more. I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery, those accursed paintings, that accursed Sarah. Strange Amerindian pendant. I could use one of those.
That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I'm not here to cause trouble, if that's what's worrying you. Worry me? Don't overestimate yourself. If the last beating wasn't enough for you, I can always give it another go. But as long as you keep out of my way, you're free to carry on with your visit. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with a network, and a means of transport to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? An old diary. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. Hmm. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. The public entrance to the gallery. Hmm. Why was he so interested in old weapons? The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. What the hell was that?
Damn. Did it hear that? What the hell was that? That maybe I can use this dagger. What the hell was that? Maybe I can use this dagger. What the hell was that?
Maybe I can use this dagger. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too. I ran, screamed, broke a pane of glass. You were in the next room, and you didn't hear a thing. If I hadn't heard a thing, I'd still be in the other room. The door was blocked. I got in as soon as I could. I like to look after my goods. You mean me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders.
It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. Where is the bookseller? Freud's The Interpretation of Dreams. It's the work that laid the foundations of psychoanalysis at the beginning of this century. An old diary. strange amulet. I have a feeling I'd better not touch it. What happened here? Let's start over. Where did they break in from? Blood. Seems like amateur work. To whom does this footprint belong? No sign of struggle. If the burglar smashed this jar, it wasn't intentionally. Was he hurt then? What sort of thief leaves his tools at the crime scene? What killed all these animals? What happened that made the burglar flee before finishing his work? What the... Charles Hawkins? 
What's happening to Hawkins? What sort of power did Sarah Hawkins' painting possess? Sarah Hawkins helped hide something in this safe. Drake put in a great deal of effort to hide whatever is in here. Everything is linked to the Sarah Hawkins case. Is everyone on this island taking sleeping pills? What link did he find between Charles Hawkins and an old amulet? Drake left instructions on how to find the combination of his safe. Arkham editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions? Never heard of them. How many volumes are there in this collection? Another volume by Arkham editions. Arkham editions? Never heard of them. Cylinders that Drake tried to hide. I should perhaps listen to them. Things are not looking good. And these red drops, like precious stones, lie fixed, set in divine gold. To be the guardian of the grail does not protect me from its attractions, Henry. And I do confess it. I am willing to pay to know its secrets. I finally understood that we were only pieces on the chessboard of the gods. Let those of us who are still standing protect our White Queen from their dark soldiers. I see our number dwindling, and my will strengthens as my apprehension grows. We shall refuse to be the playthings of destiny. Dear friend, I thank you again for the anthology of the works of Arkham editions that you sent me. Uh, volume 9, Azathoth and Other Horrors, seemed particularly relevant to my research. I never tire of browsing through them. The Queen has little protection. What did Drake say about this collection? Drake talked about a particular volume. So these are the volumes that Drake was talking about in his message. What did Drake say about this collection? <laughs> 